Well, Paul, end of the, the second day, Gloucestershire, 132 for five, 68 behind. And the reason Essex are in such a strong position, one of the main reasons, is your fine 96. Just talk us through the game as it's gone so far and that innings, that excellent innings in, this, in these conditions. Yeah, obviously delighted to uh, get some runs on the board. Um, but I think, yeah, the credit needs to go to the bowlers, really, just how good they were day one morning. Um, just gave us an opportunity to kind of get ahead and really put the pressure on Gloucester. That wicket wasn't easy though, was it? I mean, uh, our, our guys exploited those helpful conditions to the full. Um, I think in 28 or 29 overs, they were already bowled out. Uh, they couldn't have altered that markedly before we went in and the top three or four found difficulty, didn't they? Yeah, definitely. I think obviously a bit of a tough wicket, just, just nipping around a little bit. Um, I always felt like the bowlers are in the game, but just one of those things I think once you once you get in you I think you just really got to capitalize on it and um, kind of everyone in lower order really just kind of ground it out Wheats and Harmy as well um, and just managed to get some partnerships on the board. Is it one of those wickets where your um, your height actually helped contend and negate some of the uh, if you like the advantage that the placement particularly would get, get from that and then of course their spinner came into the attack didn't he, he was getting a little bit of turn on it yeah, um, obviously, I don't know whether it helps or, or hurts, who knows, but um, yeah, obviously, uh, just glad to help the boys out, really, and obviously get, in, get us into a strong position and try and push this game home tomorrow. You're proving yourself, uh, if you like, a, a coach's dream, really. I mean, you, you, you know, you go in, you've opened in the past, you've gone in at three, you're going in at five. Um, are you, uh, What's the position you're most comfortable in, Paul? Yeah, I think um, the main thing is for me is just trying to just trying to help the team out. So wherever um, wherever I'm needed, um, and they feel like I'm the best man for the job, then obviously I'm happy to do it. Um, and I think the main thing is just trying to win games for Essex, really. And reflections on the season for Paul Walter. You, you happy with how things have gone for you? Yeah, I think it's been a decent season. I obviously would have liked liked to score a few more hundreds. Um, that, that, that's the way. That's cricket. That's the way it goes. So, I think the main thing is is um, just trying to win games for the team. We've scored a few half centuries now. Uh, that last innings, the 96, tantalisingly close to those three figures. People talk about the nervous 90s. Did that hit you? Oh, I think it was just one of those. Um, obviously, obviously, you never want, never want to get out. So, it doesn't matter whether you get out on 95, 96, whatever. Um, it is what it is, obviously you're going to walk off disappointed, but it is what it is. In the game situation as it is, um, it's obviously delighted to get that many. Yes, I was going to say, in the context of the game, and it's all about putting in performances, if they're only really important if it helps the team win, aren't they? I mean, exactly. As we stand here now, um, that really has been a defining contribution, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. For you, Paul, I mean, your, your style of batting has changed, hasn't it, over the last two or three years, or uh, maybe longer? Um, initially, I mean, you were a ferocious hitter of the ball, and I'm not suggesting <laughs> that that's gone. You are still a, a ferocious hitter of the ball, but um, you've played some really, really staunch innings, rearguard innings, as that showed out there today. Um, has it been hard to, if you like, get that discipline into your game? I think um, it's been kind of like a natural progression over the years. Um, I think at the end of the day, um, you just got to try and do what's best for the team. Like if, if I feel like you need to push the rate up or push the game on, then maybe that's what I'll try and do. But um, definitely in those sort of situations, on that sort of wicket, I think you've got to dig in and grind, grind it out. So um, I trust my defence, and I think that's kind of where you got to be to to be able to grind out those sort of innings. So um, obviously, yeah, delighted, and hopefully many more to come. And I know there's the feeling throughout the team and around the coaching staff. So disappointed that we haven't been. Uh, got into Division 1 to defend that title, um, but we've shown that so much professionalism, aren't we, in these matches in, in Division 2, uh, and perhaps laying the foundations for a, till, a, a title to regain our title next season. Yeah, definitely, obviously, I think we're all very disappointed as well not to be in Division 1, but um, that's just sometimes cricket. Um, so yeah, I think all we can do really is just put our hands up in Div 2, make sure we finish up the top there, and um, look forward to bigger and better things next year.